A 10-year-old boy was standing in front of a shoe store. He was peering very intently through the glass window, looking at the whole section of shoes. He was watching for more than a few hours. A lady walked by, saw this boy looking through the glass window, held him by the hand and brought him inside. She looked at him and said, you want a pair of shoes? And he said, yes, I'm praying to God for a pair of shoes. She immediately told the shopkeeper, bring a bowl of water. The bowl and basin of water was brought. She placed the boy on a seat and washed his feet, wiped it carefully with a towel, then gave that boy a wonderful pair of socks to wear. And then finally, gave a pair of shoes. The boy was so happy. He looked at the lady and said, Who are you? And she said, Well, you were praying to God that you should have a pair of shoes. Here they are. The boy very innocently looked at this lady and said, Oh, so are you God's wife? And the lady laughed. And she said, No. I am simply being an instrument in the Lord's hand to try to serve. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Athaitad apena shaknoshi karatum mad yoga maashritaha sarva karma phalatyaga tataha kuru yadatmavan. When a person gives up the fruits of his work in the service of others, this creates a transformative effect on the heart because the beginning of transformation is the expression of selflessness. Therefore, we should incorporate a fair degree of selfless service and as we begin selflessly serving others, gradually we will experience a transformation in our own life.